Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and by popular demand I will do another drawing with a glass dip pen and with this Chinese black ink. So we take the cap off and then we dip the tip of the pen like so and then we can draw with it. This time, unlike in most of my videos, I already drew the figures lightly with pencil and we will go over this line with the ink. If you remember on my last video with this pen in which we drew a hibiscus flower, we did it directly with the ink on the paper with no prior pencil drawing. You can do it either way. But since this cannot be erased, it is safer to make a prior pencil line. I begin by adding the darks, especially the tiger's stripes. But I don't make those solidly black, but rather, as you see, with a series of lines in the direction I imagine the four to fall. And we can tighten those lines, making them even darker. However, I think they look better and more natural if we leave at least some tiny white lines in between. I am still surprised of the nice feeling that uh, this pen leaves and also of how long the ink lasts. You don't need to dip it very often at all. This part over here is catching shadow, so I do some cross hatching to darken it. On the last video, I made a little survey of whether you wanted to have only sculpting tutorials and the responses were overwhelmingly that you want all kinds of videos, including drawing, painting and sculpture. So we will keep doing all of those. And we began drawing the girl. She's there, pleasingly sitting with her friend, the tiger. <laughs> First, I go over the outline that I already had with pencil and then we do some of the shading, also with hatching and cross hatching. Of course, I do the lines of the hair and also of the dress in the natural direction that this flow. I have forgotten the other paw of the tiger. Here it is. Let's shade it with some more hatching and cross hatching and also the rock. They will be sitting on rocks, so we will also do those with lines and crossing lines. Of course, both living figures are very organic. What I mean is that they are soft and the lines are curving, rounded. While the rocks are cold and stiff, and I imagine them with flat planes. So we will do the hatching and the cross hatching more like in planes and going one over the other in different directions, like so. By the way, when you feel that this paint is running out of ink, you can turn it just a little bit. I mean like rotate it slightly and more ink will come down. The list with all the materials that I used for this project is in the description below the video. Please let me know what other tools or techniques would you like to see in these tutorials. We give it the last details, the last touches, and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends, and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. And I will see you on Tuesday.